Hey guys, Chris from Record Talk. Five records, five minutes. It's month number five, the month of May. Even though this is the seventh month I've been doing this since I started in November. Of course, we have 12 Angry Months by Local H. And what's Local Anger, Local H angry about in the month of May? Well, they're mad about the focus. But the Summer of Boats. And so this actually starts off as probably the mellowest song on this particular record. Um, it does build up and get heavier. You know, I'm going to try to get the focus back there. Um, sometimes the camera loses its focus and I'm not redoing it. But the Summer of Boats starts off as a really mellow song. It builds up, um, gets uh, a little bit louder. Um, and of course... Uh, we're, we're getting close to summertime. We're getting close to boating season. I live right out by the lake. Maybe I'll get on my boat and I'll give you some footage of me searching for records on a boat at some point. All right, well, let's get into our next record. So we've got an old record from 1955, Maybelline by Chuck Berry. And you can see the copy that I dug has an extremely worn label. Um, of course, Maybelline is a well-known song. I was, I think it was the very first of Chuck Berry's hits. It, of course, appears on his Golden Decade comp. It's actually the very first song on the comp as well. And you probably know the song. Um, and so this was his Golden Decade, 1955 through 1965 uh, compilation of his. I have several of the singles, everything on Chess Records as well we can take a look at the label on the album which is in a bit better shape i have a 1981 canadian pressing for whatever reason um who else talks about may in their music why liz fair talks about may in her music and she talks about it twice in her uh, album Whip Smart from 1996, 1994. I was, uh, I didn't realize it was that early. So, yes, it did come out right after um, Exile in Guyville. So, one of my favorite songs on the record is song number eight, which is called Cinco de Mayo. Not that you can read that, but um, Cinco de Mayo, Burnout, Ohio. It's a pretty cool song. I'm not doing it any justice. Very last song, track number 14. It was the mid-90s. Everything was like an album and a half long. A uh, song called May Queen, which is... Um, I did my video about the last song as the best song. Well, I didn't include that one for a reason. Um, then we go into about the year 2010. We've got Arcade Fire out in the suburbs and they did a track uh, I think it was track number nine on this record called the month of May so they talk about how they want to record in the month of May they talk about what should happen to them if they die in the month of May it's a pretty rocking song it's probably one of the the heavier faster songs on this particular album um, and you can notice I'm showing, again, mostly CDs this month. Hey, that's the way it goes. Um, and then the final CD I'm going to show, this is a rarity um, from 2020 or 2021. Um, I think it was 2021. Uh, the Mysteries of Life Blue Jay. And so, again, this comes from the Blake Baby's world because... Um, uh, the Mysteries of Life are Frida Love and Jake Smith. So Frida was the drummer for Blake Babies. Um, then she met up and married Jake Smith, and they had this band together. And this is kind of, um, they did an album. They're, they're um, I mean, he's a professor now, so he's not a full-time musician. Um, they brought in Juliana Sang on a couple of the songs. Uh, she didn't sing on the May song, which is Wintry May. So Anna Steinhoff, who plays cello, there's a lot of cello on that song. It's a pretty slow song. It's a bit ponderous. Wintry May is definitely not as good as, like, Jupiter and Saturn. 